The installation of the robot is very simple. The robot is held on by four M6 screws. The pattern fits directly on a metric optical breadboard. We do sell an adapter plate to mount the robot on extrusions and metric breadboards. The drawings are available in the user manual if you need to build your own adapter plate. The robot doesn't have dowel pins under it for precise positioning, but the base of the robot is machined and can be used with kinematic stops such as these ones or dowel pins on the adapter plate for precise positioning. It is worth noting that the robot can be mounted in any orientation without software or performance limitations. The electrical connections are very simple. The robot has three connectors at its base, two Ethernet ports, which can be used as a switch if the user wants to daisy chain equipment, and one power connector for the connection between the power supply and the robot. If you are using EtherCAT, note that there is an in port and an out port. To install the robot, first connect the communication cable and the power cable on the robot. The other end of the power cable goes on the power supply. Make sure the power supply is turned off before plugging in the power cable. You can also connect the bypass dongle on the power supply if you are not using external equipment. It is suggested to use the dongle to familiarize yourself with the robot first. You can then plug in the communication cable to your PC to control the robot. Make sure your network settings are set properly so that you can connect to the robot. Let's talk a bit more about the power supply. This is the only component external to the robot and it is used to feed 24 volts to the robot. Even though the power supply is rated for 200 watts, the robot itself only uses around 30 watts when in operation. We can see an emergency stop button to stop the robot in case of emergency, as well as a reset button to reset the power after an emergency stop or a protective stop. On the side, we have the on-off switch for the power supply, and on the other side, we have the power connector and the safety inputs. There are three types of safety inputs that will be covered in more details later. External emergency stop, external protective stop, software stop, these inputs support 24 volts DC, but not pulsed signals. Make sure to look at the schematics before connecting your sensors or safety PLC. Now that the installation is complete, we are ready to use the robot.